Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> So it's been nine months since we got married and one of the things we've been trying to do at least every month in our marriage is to have cancelling sessions with our pastor. And by the way, yet we do it every month. We try. Yeah. Like, like after the first quarter of our marriage, yeah. like, we, we, we never went for a catch up session, but after the first quarter we had a first session and it's been it's yes. been amazing. It's, it's more amazing. sort yeah. of a post cancelling session, marriage yeah. session, which is really amazing. So we had one this month. Nearly to Bamba Sana, and we just thought of sharing with you guys. My God, mm -hmm. I can't. <laughs> Babe, just learn your points. Just cause the end. Who can't? So one of the things our pastor told us is, you cannot lack fear of failure in marriage. Mm -hmm. You have to have the, like, you cannot be afraid to fail. I yeah. don't know if I'm making sense mm -hmm. because you need to fail so as to grow in marriage. You need to fail. And kwa natuwa te example ya wale watutu uzaliwa, watutu wakizaliwa kwa wadogo. So wale wanyo wanazoka kutembea, wananguka, wanabaki yo spot, wanalia, hawatembei tena. And then we have those who will fall. Ata atoe machozi, anasomia pele. For them, they learn to walk easily because they were not afraid of falling down. It's the same same as in marriage. I might fall today, but I'm not going to be afraid to pick up and move forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. For me, I think all men will agree with, with this point. Um, so, like on the on, on the on the onset of our marriage, even when a relationship was very, very intentional in trying to have a relationship between my wife and mom. So uh, here's the thing: I've been I've been I've been raised by a single mom. So not single mom, single parent, single mom in different, single, a single parent. I've been raised in different ways. Okay. Uh -huh. So, uh, like relationship here, yeah, my wife and my mom has been very central to me. Uh, like on the onset, I was like pushing it, just trying to see if it will all work. But we could have learned that uh, it it doesn't work like that one. But two, personally, no, if you know why men are like this, <laughs> and equally, Malisa, man. Listen, guys, listen. In the beginning, I felt like okay, my husband is actually pushing this so much. And for me, I wanted myself and my mother-in-law to just grow our own relationship yeah. at its own pace. Yeah. Like to grow to pole pole, ipo. So see, I didn't jump instantly to mm -hmm. grow pole pole. But now I felt like my husband was pushing. Mm -hmm. And now when we were having this conversation with our pastor, he was telling me, you know, for boys, the way that you show you love their family is the connection they see with your mother. With Boom! Your mother. For them, even in our friendship, I cannot hear this. I watch a Jikoni pig story. Ah yeah yeah yeah, in a mbamba bimba. Go on, yeah. Yo, in a Maliza. Yeah. But then one thing I also appreciate appreciated from that conversation was that first I also made it clear to my husband that mm -hmm. you also need to allow your wife to grow this relationship, mm -hmm. but you also need to as well appreciate the small steps. When you in later when you pakasa i kuna vitu me realize either wana piga story na madu wana fanya nini it's she it can't happen instantly you get yeah but I also understood why you are coming from yes and I think it's also fair to all men let's let's not push this relationship that doesn't mean you don't do nothing if possible just have them in the same space and let things flow let things be fluid and I mean I mean with the fact that you keep in the same way but it's like Yes. Now she. Eh, like who's like, you're my boy. You get it. Eh, you get it. Ah. And but it's all men. It's all men. Again, saying this, we're not oblivious that at the kuna watu ni yakona like rough backgrounds. It's possible. Our suggestion is get therapy, get counselling. It really helps. Yes. Yeah. Thank you.